Suddenly there was a light, so bright it was almost dazzling. The fairy died in the end. Well, fairies don't die, sweetheart. They become new stars. Do you think there's a new star there for me? You're a successful author of children's books. You can't have fairies being squashed like bugs. Someone at the door. I'm one of the biggest fans. Completely naked, she faints in your arms. Do you have a name? Crystal. Crystal? Looks like focal retrograde amnesia. Everything seems strange, so big and loud. You know the rules, you can't touch her unless we fail. And you are? I'm staying in Tom's bedroom until we find out who I am. She's from out of town, and to me, the word is weird. It's like she's from another planet. Locked away in your study with your, your fairies and your elves. Why don't you just stay out of my life? Danger! Tom, danger. Why did you follow me? Well, for one, you took my car. <laughs> Things have changed. Fairies like it here. They don't want to go home. Of course she knows, as we're from a uh, fairy. Very far away. Okay, are you telling us that Crystal is a real, live fairy with magical powers? Precisely. Is it possible for a fairy to stay in the mortal world? Well, he's in love with her. You think so? Yeah, look. Well, his face, it's written all over his face. Still don't believe in fairies? We could be together. If I don't go back with Otkin and Botkin by tomorrow night, he'll come for me. They call me the Collector. He's a bounty hunter from the world of darkness. When he goes after a missing fairy, he never gives up. Sooner or later, I find all of you. The fairy has to perform a selfless act of love. I'm the one you want. Crystal. Oh, it's wonderful. I've seen fairies are real. Did you know? Yes. Do you?